good to welcome Scott Robbins back to Local Lifestyles from Action Pest. Now today, we're going to talk about a problem that people always fear, especially if they're going to buy a home, termites. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's the time of the year in the spring that... You know, people aren't really thinking about bugs yet. It's a, it's a still, you know, a little on the cool side outside. But, you know, it, it's really a big problem. You know, most people aren't thinking about termites, or you're, you're unaware that you have a problem until they actually show up. But subterranean termites actually do more damage in our homes annually than fires and tornadoes and hurricanes on a national scale. That's fascinating so it's to a, hear. It's, yeah, it's an underground uh, damage that's, that's going on. Um, so these little critters, and they're underground, they're coming up through tiny gaps, cracks, and crevices, maybe a crack in our foundation or a hole around a water line or however it may be, or maybe they're just crawling right up the outside of our foundation and we're very unaware because we've added too much mulch around the outside or there's some ivy growing up our foundation covering up those little tunnels they make. Um, whatever that might be uh, could be part of the problem. So, you know, the thing about termites that is so frightening to all of us is we have this fear, and it's probably true, that the damage is already done. They've been eating away at the rafters or whatever, and there's nothing we can do about it. That may be the case. Um, it depends on, you know, what, we, what you may see this spring is some uh, termite swarmers that are coming into the house. So these are going to be these winged reproductives that come out. So at that point... That colony that, if it's a newer colony that's feasting on your home, generally these things are coming out after about five years of that colony being there. Oh, and really? It's, it's wow. not that they're doing a whole lot of damage. The average subterranean termite colony in, in the tri-state area is only consuming about one board feet of two by four every six months or so, you know, as, as a mature colony. So they haven't done that much damage per se. But you're talking about the fact that you they might not swarm for at least five years and maybe you didn't even know that they swarmed because this year they swarmed inside but last year they swarmed outside the house and you completely missed it. Well what are we supposed to do? I mean first of all obviously you want to get your home inspected before you buy it. Absolutely. Um, you want to first thing you know get that you know that real estate inspection that's a, for a lot of your bank loans that is an absolute requirement but you want to get your home reinspected on an annual basis and depending on you know not the full uh you know, full-blown real estate inspection again, but most of the companies will come and we'll do a free visual inspection for you on an annual basis. Or you can get, if your home has been treated, then a lot of companies like us will have it. You'll have a renewal inspection every year. So basically, we're putting your home under some type of a protection plan, some type of warranty. And that way, you don't have to worry about it. Absolutely. And so even if you don't, let's say if you don't see any termites and you're having your home treated, just include that? How do, you, how do we do that? Um, yeah, if you're having your home treated, then um, the company should be offering a renewal inspection. And some, depending on where you live, which one of the states in the tri-state, it may actually be required by state law that they offer some type of re renewal program. So um, one the last thing. If, we want to make sure that you know the difference between a termite swarmer and an ant swarmer, if that's possible. So uh, we've got a visual of that, if we can bring that up really quick. And because they'll both swarm this spring at the same time. Oh, great. So, <laughs> yeah, it's important that we be able to tell them, a, a, a tell, tell them apart. So an ant swarmer is going to have an elbowed or a jointed antenna. It's also going to have a pinched, narrow waist. So you can easily distinguish the head, thorax, and abdomen. The wings of the termite are going to be an equal length and the wings of the ant, the forward pair of wings will be longer than the aft pair of wings. So you so can really tell by looking. You, you can up close, but if you have any questions, just put, put them in a Ziploc bag and then call us and we'll be happy to come out and ID them for you. Always call Scott Robbins and Action Pest. They'll take care of your termites and everything else. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Stick around. This portion of Lifestyles has been sponsored by Action Pest Control.